Welcome to round three of this PGA Tour event at Edgewood Golf Course. A great drive. This should land safely on the green. Won't have to chip it now, but a lengthy putt coming up. Looking to walk away with birdie on this hole. Well, this one's pretty stock here. Put a good stroke on it. Got a good chance of making it. under for the championship. A straightaway par four with a two-tiered green framed by deep bunkers. From the tee, look at the pin position and then hit your tee shot to the opposite side of the fairway. When the pin is back, the ball is difficult to control and par is an excellent score. the fairway. That's where this is heading. Admit it, Ferdy. Admit it. Come on, come on, come on. You blew the call. You blew the call. That ball's in the rough. going to be very, very close. That's just incredible. This one could be tricky. That's a birdie. A true three-shot par five. Place your drive just left of the bunkers. On your second shot, favor the left side of the fairway just short and well left of the next bunker, but watch the water to the left. Take enough club on this uphill approach shot to this well-protected green. but it might not be too bad. Oh, no. He yanked that one. And here it is, deep in the jungle. Come on, you're stronger than that.
This should be all right. On the green, at least. The two straight birdies. This putt is going to break right. Two under par for the day. With the prevailing winds at your back, you may reach the straightaway par 5 and 2. Be careful to keep your second shot in the fairway, as this small, firm green will only accept crisp approach shots. Keep your approach shot below the hole and make birdie. He could be in a bit of trouble here. If I said this wasn't a good spot, uh, I'd be sugarcoating it, McCord. this for three straight birdies. Left turn, right into the cup. That's this and you're looking at a bogey. Four under for the championship. The winds generally blow from right to left and will carry a poorly struck shot into the tree front left. Plenty of room over this bowl shaped green, but getting up and down may prove difficult. Just a wonderful shot. Faraday, give me some of your forensics on this one. Not too tricky here, Gary. Maybe just a little outside the left. Take in the views from this long and difficult par four. The center of this fairway is ideal. Watch for strong headwinds coming off the lake. Do not miss this green long or left, or an all but impossible up and down will await. The 
This one is smashed right down the middle. They just witnessed a truly remarkable shot. Forty six under for the championship. The shortest hole on this course with another very deep green. Club selection is critical if you want to hit it tight. David, what do you have? Well, it's green and it's mean, not pretty. The safe landing area for this tee shot is left of a large pine short of the stream. From here, a mid to short iron to an undulating green that falls from back to front and right to left. Keep the ball below the hole for a chance at birdie. This is going to be good. What's the situation, David? Well, got about 150 yards left here. Can you believe that shot? Forty seven under par for the tournament. This long dog leg right calls for two well-placed shots. The tee shot should be taken directly down the middle. From here, you will have a long to mid iron second shot to the green that slopes from back to front. If you find yourself in the pines to the right, take the shortest route out to the fairway. the fairway with that tee shot.
That's just incredible. This for a second consecutive birdie. If you hit this straight, it's not going in. Oh, I can't get any closer than that. Miss this and you're looking at a bogey. Forty-seven under par for the tournament. Ideal tee position is right center of the fairway. Don't get too greedy or the pine trees could knock you into the hazard right. This is the firmest green on the course and usually plays downwind. Plenty of room right, but with the green sloping from right to left, getting up and down will be difficult. I don't like the looks of this. Try to get it right, McCord. This is in the fair way. Ended nicely for the green. This one looks good. The pressure's on. This is for birdie. This isn't as easy as it seems. What a shame. Five under on today's round. Tee shots should be placed left center on this fairway. Long hitters will not want to hit driver because the tall pine short of the green could block out your second shot. A short iron to this uphill par four will yield a few birdies. This looks good, should be safely on the green. An easy putt, gentle left swing, not too much outside the hole. Hole 12 is the most difficult par 3 on the course. Club selection is key here, with a shallow green well protected by trees and bunkers front and back. This is heading for trouble. He hit it here, and now he has to deal with it. I don't like the looks of this.
Miss this and you're looking at a bogey. Okay, you're standing on a slope here. See which way it goes? Yeah, it's gonna dribble to the right. 48 under for the championship. This green sets up best from the right side of the fairway. However, Fazio placed bunkers and trees to catch a shot hit just offline. Take enough club on your second shot to this uphill par four surrounded by trees. Oh, he's all over this one. should find the green. I see this putt going to the right. Not a good putt here. If this one goes in, it's par. Forty eight under for the championship. Take in the views from this long and difficult par four. The center of this fairway is ideal. Watch for strong headwinds coming off the lake. Do not miss this green long or left or an all but impossible up and down will await. You've got the talent to spin the ball. Now would be a good time to do it. This ball is blasted. do occur. Should be able to make birdie here. Forty nine under for the tournament. Now that's quite a score. Take a deep breath. You're on the home stretch and a few birdie chances await. This is the shortest par four on the golf course. A long iron or fairway wood placed in the center of the fairway will give you a short iron to a receptive green.
Oh, I like the looks of this shot. Now that's what you call being on target. This is for Birdie. Parody, give me some of your forensics on this one. Not too tricky here, Gary. Maybe just a little outside the left. Got the birdie! Drives need to be placed just left of the large pine tree guarding the center of the fairway. The second shot should be struck short of the fairway bunkers, approximately 125 yards from the green. This moderately contoured green will be susceptible to a birdie. If I do say so myself. David? Just paced this one off, and it's right on about 220 yards. What a shot, David. This putt for Eagle. This is a very difficult putt we're looking at here. Take a moment to enjoy the beautiful views, and then focus on this tricky par three. The wind direction here is key. I could be mistaken, but this appears to be going towards the rough. You'll get your money's worth playing it out of here. They don't call it rough for nothing. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. What was that? This putt for par. That's the kind of tournament you only dream of. 52 under. I'm still shaking my head. This short par five is the best birdie opportunity on the course. A drive down the left side of this fairway will allow the longer hitters to go for the green in two, often with a long iron. There is a pond in the front left of this green and very little room for error to the right.
Oh, he's got all that one. Just crushed it down the fairway. This could be tough. Uh-huh. A long way away. 230 yards the flag. Superbly played to get on here in two. In good position here to drop this one for Eagle on the par five. Any closer, it would have fallen in. And to polish it off. Every once in a while, you see a player have a truly great tournament. At 53 under, I think we just saw one.